Now, Bethesda did an incredible job in helping bring some new life into the Wolfenstein franchise with 2014's The New Order, and did just as good of a job with last year's Doom. So, with the sequel to 2014's The New Order now out, my expectations were somewhat high when this was announced at this year's E3. And while the story this time around is placed in a new setting, making the game feel somewhat refreshing, the overall concept and gameplay is the same as it's always been for the most part. Now, this world of Wolfenstein is taking place in an alternative timeline in which the Nazis won World War II, and this entry takes place about five months after the events of Wolfenstein The New Order, and your primary goal is to make your way to the United States and round up all the Resistance members and start a revolution. Now, as straightforward as that sounds, there is certainly a lot more depth this time around. The game spends a good amount of time going over Blazkowicz's childhood and revealing just how horrible and abusive his father was during his upbringing, and on top of that, after his final battle against General Wilhelm, he suffers some pretty terrible injuries that will eventually kill him, and with his significant other Anya pregnant with twins for a majority of the game, you get to hear a lot of Blazkowicz's thoughts on the situation, showing a man struggling with his fate and wanting to do what he can for as long as he can before he dies, and these moments really give the main story a lot of heart. Now the gameplay in The New Colossus is just about identical to that as it was in The New Order, with only a few small additions that some of you might not even notice. You'll be granted a large collection of weapons that will allow you to be able to wield two weapons at one time to cause some serious carnage. Each weapon is upgradable and even capable of firing different modes. For a good portion of the game, you will be given a suit of armor that grants you certain functions during specific levels, and for another portion of the game, you will be granted access to three different power-ups of your choice that, not to spoil here, have their own unique functions and can change up the way you play from that point on. There is also a section that allows you to ride a giant fire-breathing robotic dog, but it doesn't really last all that long. The one section of the gameplay that really stuck out to me are the moments between missions where you're allowed to walk around your U-boat and interact with the other members of your crew, which led to some of the funniest conversations that I've heard in a video game in some time. Now, one thing that is unavoidable when it comes to this Wolfenstein game is the depiction of Americans within this game, which has undoubtedly caused some serious controversy and pissed some groups of people off. But ultimately, these kind of things never bothered me one bit. I would never take a game like this seriously, and I can view it as a bit of a parody of history and how real people in the real world act, and at the end of the day, the overall objective is the same as it had always been in this franchise going back the way to 1992, and that is simply to mow down waves and waves of Nazis, and that's all I need to know. Now, in conclusion, I absolutely loved Wolfenstein The New Colossus. I'm not going to say it's a massive improvement over the New Order, because it's very much very consistent. I think Bethesda kind of took the route of the, if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality when it came to its gameplay, and that's definitely something at this point in time I could support. The only thing I think that really improved upon is just adding a bit more depth to the characters and situation and changing the environment. But other than that, it very much feels very identical to the first game, or even so much to something like Doom, which pretty much is somewhat the same game, just with different objectives. This one you're killing demons, this one you're killing Nazis. Now, another factor I think is going to play a major part in your thoughts on this game is just what type of humor you think you can accept. There's definitely a number of spots in this game that will certainly piss some people off, and that's just something you're going to have to deal with. But overall, I never took it seriously at any part. Uh, another thing that's also going to play a major factor is your type of gameplay style and what difficulty you choose to play this on. If you want to kind of just run your way and just gun down Nazis and feeling like a badass, you're just going to play this on the lowest difficulty and be able to get through it relatively quickly. If you want to play it on the hardest difficulty, then it'll probably take a much slower pace, but probably end up being a lot more frustrated because even with a more cautious pace, you're definitely going to die a lot. So ultimately, your own thoughts on Wolfenstein are going to vary probably somewhat different from mine, but if you're looking for just an entertaining shooter just to pass the time, then I think Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus is the game for you. Maybe not a $60 game, but certainly pick it up on sale. Now if I had to give Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus a rating, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I mean, I would give the New Order an 8, but again, it's not a major change. It still continues it on, and it does get me pumped up for the third installment, which we're definitely going to get. So I'm curious if they're going to try to continue on the story or just have it finish off with a trilogy. Now, if you like my game review, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to my future game reviews. And like always, 
Thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I will see you next time.